got jello legs already. Whatever, man. Oh, come on, keep up. Hello, this is Elder Johnson. Hi. That's great. I'll be sure and tell. We'll see you at our next one. Not gonna believe this, Elder Gibbons. Believe what? Santos family wants to be baptized. I told you. Oh, you said they might, not that they would. Yeah, I did. You just weren't listening. Hello, this is Elder Johnson. <laughs> Carpenter. Yes. Carpenter. Carpenter. Nice. Carpenter. Carpenter, set! Okay. I understand. What, somebody died? <sighs> Bristol. Bristol died? No, transfer to Bristol. Wait, I thought they closed Bristol down. So did I. Apparently it's been resurrected. So when are you leaving? Tomorrow. Who's your cop? Sarah. Mosby and Dixon will be there too. <sighs> Looks like I'll be babysitting the last month of my mission. Yeah, the carpenter. Yeah, hold on one second. It's for you. Hello, Elder Sarah speaking. When? Okay. Thanks. Bye. What's going on? No more races, compadre. Transfer? Yeah. When? I'm already gone. Father, help us in this new area that we'll be able to be guided by thy spirit. And please help us so we'll be able to find some food in this apartment. And we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You ready? Define ready. For our first P-Day in Bristol. Must be. I'm hungry. Of course you are. Elder, Elder Sareth. Hey. Oh. Mm. 
better be on fire. 6.30, mission handbook says, wake up by 6.30. Thanks, Mom. Shower, eat, get dressed. 6.38. Personal study, eight to nine. Book of Mormon this month. Try and read at least eight chapters a day. Companionship study, nine o'clock. We should probably go over the white handbook again. Out the door. No later than 10 sharp. Follow the program, blessings follow you. Ten minutes, no more. Why is my life under schedule? Mission schedule alert. This expired a few years ago. What is it? It's either corned beef or dog food. Well, if it's corned beef, open it. Is there anything you won't eat? You know, I don't think anyone's lived here since the last elders. How long has Bristol been closed? A while. <laughs> Not much for breakfast. We'll do some shopping this afternoon. I can't wait till then. Too bad. Hey, you know how many Alma baptized in one year? About oh, 3,500. Yeah, but that was then, and this is now. And now is Bristol Township, Pitt City. Never baptize with that attitude, Elder. Truth isn't an attitude. Hey, President Woodard baptized like a thousand people. Yeah, but that was like a hundred years ago. Well, I think we can do better. Better than baptizing a thousand people. Why not? President Woodruff started out with nothing. Look what he achieved. Well. Prepare yourselves for a flood of baptisms then, because we definitely have nothing. There has to be something to eat here besides camp. This place doesn't even have an area book. What's this? A door. Oh, that's what they look like. But what's a tomb? Missionaries. Tell them it's almost study time. It's almost study time. What's that supposed to be like, an impersonation of me? Yes, but cleverly disguised as a responsible adult. Better hurry and eat, it's almost personal study. Don't you have like five weeks left? I have exactly five weeks left. You should loosen up a little. It's because I have five weeks left that I can't loosen up. What'd the sisters want? They have an appointment at 9.30. On P-Day? Okay. They'll meet us at the laundromat after. Two minutes to eat. What did the elders have to say? They were studying. Elder Johnson? Elder Dixon imitating Elder Johnson. Yeah, he's good at that. He's quite... Organized, isn't he, Elder Johnson? He's a drill sergeant with a testimony. He's not that bad. You're right, but for someone who only has five weeks left, he's pretty intense. Or he's just trying to be the best missionary he can to the end. What do you think of the others? Mm. Elder Seraph is cute. A free spirit. I don't remember where we're going. And I admire Elder Dixon's straightforwardness. He always says what he thinks. <laughs> Sometimes before he thinks. Mosby? Not sure about him yet. He's in training to be Elder Johnson. District leader? No, obsessive compulsive. I think they're all quite spiritual though. We really shouldn't judge. We? Ready? All right, bring it, Elder. From Three Point Land, Dan. 
Nothing but nets. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember basketball being on the to-do list. Nope, not on my planner. Hey, does anyone have the key to the store? I can't get it open. Kick it in. No door kicking. It's like he's got eyes in the back of his head. He does. That's why it's so hard to tell if he's coming or going. There's gotta be a key around here somewhere. When I was little, there was this guy I knew who could open any door by just jerking on the knob a certain way. Well, try it. No knob jerking either. I think I met Johnson in the past life. Sometimes I wish he'd stayed there. Sticks and stones, Elder. Got it! Really? Ta-da! Pakistani Jones. And the lost key. Time for companionship inventory. <sighs> Were you ever abducted by aliens? <sighs> so what's this inventory thing? How long have you been out? About 14 months. And you've never heard of companionship inventory? Well, I was busy being a missionary. It's a rule, you know, once a week, we discuss how each of us is doing. Oh yeah, yeah, that, sorry, didn't know I had a name. You first. Okay, uh, what do you want, like mission stuff or personal stuff? Both. You talk in your sleep. <laughs> Not those kinds of things. <laughs> Listen, you just said both. You don't keep all the rules. What? We've been together a week and you've already broken like 15 rules, at least. You count? Wait, give me that. You've been counting. It's my job. Well, you smack when you eat. I do not. Loud. It's like giants kissing. You know, Elder, you should just really try to be more obedient. I'm a missionary, not Lassie. What else you got? You don't wear your bike helmet all the time. It's really not handy in the shower. You don't wear your suit coat all the time. It gets hot. It's a rule. You've never heard of the spirit of the law before, have you? Yes, I have heard of the spirit of the law. The spirit of the law does not mean you break the law. Look, we'll both work on being better, starting tomorrow. How about never, huh? Is never good enough for you? You have an attitude problem. I don't have an attitude problem. You have a perception problem. Fine. Do what you want. That's why you have your agency anyway. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry for. Just want us, both of us, to be better. I know. But just ease up a little bit, okay? You're so tense all the time. I'm not tense. I'll... I'm just... I'm, I'm very alert. She doesn't even live here. I was so certain the spirit prompted me to contact her. Perhaps it did. Maybe it wasn't the spirit. What do you mean? You know those thoughts that pop into your head? Is that a prompting from the Holy Ghost or my own ideas? I've always thought they were from God. You know, his hand in all things. Yeah, including my head. It takes practice to recognize it. Doesn't the other side work the same way? Yes, but the promptings aren't good ones. The Lord's are. So many voices, so little time. Part of the deal. Were people like this back home in England? Pretty much.
you get the key? You ask him. Trade you. Huh? Ball for the key. What are you talking about? Lost in thought. I was? I'm familiar territory, huh? What do you want? The key. What key? The one Elder Sereth found. It's not 10 yet. PD! <sighs> Sorry. That's your ready. Well, it's definitely more than a pantry. What is it? Is there food? We're gonna need a flashlight. It's your turn. He hates Sherry. That's why it's your turn. <sighs> hey. What brought you in and does it ever reverse? I just need your flashlight. No. I'll be real careful. No. Please? What for? To see in the dark? It's daytime. Well, I'm going where the sun don't shine. All right. As long as you promise to stay there. Scout's on her. Top drawer. All right, who's first? After you. Cowards. Hungry. You just ate half an hour ago. Well, if we find something cool, you don't get any. You're not gonna find squat. That's good, because we're not looking for squat. <laughs> Looks like nobody's been down here in years. An elder was killed in this house, you know. What? Where'd you hear that? All right. Then it must be true. Yeah. It's probably why they closed the area down. Weren't you in the Marines? I was a cook. But I did make a mean beef stroganoff. Although I used chicken, not beef. You see, the secret is to overcook the chicken. Hmm, what's that? Oh man. That's what they used to teach the gospel back in the day. Really? Yeah. That's weird. What's that? Uh, it looks like an old journal. There's no name. Are you gonna read it? Just looking at it. Isn't that invasion of privacy? According to you, whoever wrote this is dead. That's even worse.
What's that? Somebody's little journal. And you're reading it? Who made the rule that you can't read other people's journals? Isn't that what the scriptures are? It's private property. It was abandoned. Is that one's right? It's not a sunken ship. I wouldn't if I were you. Fortunately, we're not you. All right, well, it's going in my weekly report. Matthew 7-1, Elder. So what does it say? Hmm. What? Huh. What? Wow. What? It was written by a missionary. He was leaving this area soon, and he left this journal for whoever followed him. Did he die? Yes, Elder Dixon. He wrote it after his death. Hey, you know what I mean. Bristol was closed after that missionary was killed. Where did you hear that? Around. Then why would the president send us here? To seal our testimonies. With our blood. Couldn't we just bear him and leave? Laundry time. You go ahead, I want to hear this. Okay, so he, he said that he left us clues. To what? If you are diligent, figuring out each of the clues in order, you'll find a great treasure. Please, don't waste your time. No. In order to succeed and attain the great reward, your knowledge, diligence, patience, and testimony will be put to the test. Testimony? Not that blood thing again. Your journey begins as you cleanse your outer garments. Numbers 14, 15. What scripture is that? That's when the Hebrews murmur against Moses and the Lord. Right, they were looking for a sign, like a fake treasure map in a basement. Laundry elders. Do you believe in anything? The restored gospel. Besides that. Deja vu. Deja what? Like I get the feeling I've heard this bull before. Wow, that was clever. Listen, whoever wrote this, I think they wanted us to find something important. Yeah, you can include that in your letter to Santa next December. I, mean, I don't know what your problem is, but I bet it's pretty hard to pronounce. So we're gonna look for the clues. Not me. R and R today. Rest and relaxation. Ribs and root beer. Where is your sense of adventure? In my other suit. Okay, well, after laundry, it's P day, okay? A and the clue, it, it does say your journey begins as you cleanse your outer garments. We're going to the laundromat. How do you know we were going to the laundromat? He didn't. But the numbers reference doesn't make any sense. Big surprise. Uh, you two go ahead. Elder Sarath and I have some planning to do. We do? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be with them. How come? Oh, that's nothing. It's just the work to them. It's like, it's all about looking good. What are you kidding me? Dixon's got a face like an unmade bed. Not physical looks. It's a super elder complex of theirs. I mean, sure they've had baptisms, but no retention. Mosby was my trainer. And he may not be as rigid as... As me. As some other elders. As me, yeah. You, you can just say. You're not rigid. But then what am I? Stiff? I've got knuckle blisters from knocking on so many doors. All this, and we've only taught one lesson. It's nothing like a positive attitude. That's nothing like a positive attitude, Elder. But my comp, Elder Johnson, is a spiritual giant. I keep my camera handy so I can get the picture when he's translated. You know, at least I try to do the work. That's not the work. It's tracting, okay? That's something you do when you're waiting for the second coming. 
Going to the bathroom. Good luck. Hey, um, don't be so hard on him. Hard on him? Look, he's a hard case, okay? A hard case that just happens to be the only member of the church in his family. He never said anything about that to me. Well, you've only been comps a week. Besides, it's probably a touchy subject for him. So, do they not support him at all? Not even a letter. You're kidding. In fact, I heard that his dad said that if he went on a mission, he wouldn't be part of the family anymore. Oh man, that's cold. Explain some things now. Yeah. See the look Johnson gave Sister Hiller? Uh, what, what look? It's the kind you pour over waffles. Yeah. Huh. I saw it. <clears throat> Is there something you want to tell me? Like what? Like Sister Hiller. What are you talking about? Hey, she's cute and you're only human. I wouldn't know. You don't know if you're human? Oh, that would clear up some things. Yeah, you know, have you written the mission present this week yet? Yeah, it's, uh, it's on my to-do list, right after my nervous breakdown. Five more weeks? What? Before you go home. Something like that. Are you anxious? It's a little tense sometimes. No, are you anxious to go home, Trunky? No. Why do you do that? Do what? Look away when you talk to me. I don't. It's not so bad, is it? Treat every missionary the same in the district. With dignity and respect. By not looking at them. By not letting anything get in the way of the work. I gotta go. Jeez, <laughs> the sister's one in. One in? I'm finding the treasure. Oh, jeez. It does sound like a good go. Yeah, Johnson, what do you think? Seriously, Elder. What? I think your load's done on 13. Huh? Your washing machine? I think I figured it out. Johnson's machine? No, 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 look. The clue doesn't refer to numbers in the Old Testament. It's washing machine numbers. So what's going on? Sarah thinks he solved the clue. Did you find something? Maybe. Is this what you were talking about? Yeah, it's treasure. What is that? I think I got something. Yeah, gullible missionaries. No. Look, it looks positively grotty. Open it. You open it. Here, give it to me. There's nothing. Nine one one. Maybe it means urgent. Like a nine one one call. Yes. Yeah. When you make the call, can you tell them to send the loony wagon? Or it's upside down and it's really one sixteen. Is that number significant? The mouth of the Lord. Uh, what? You know, from Revelations one sixteen. Or an inhixium. The atomic number for the chemical element uninhexium? How do you even know that? I was good at chemistry. 
I can't even remember my chemistry teacher's name. <laughs> or it's something else. Something we all know about. What? The 116 manuscript pages that Martin Harris lost. <sighs> whoa. Double whoa. That would be a treasure. Priceless. Look, what's on the other side? Before the dead arise, President Seven has the means to carry you forward. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. A president named Seven? Or the seventh president. Well, who is the seventh president? Andrew Jackson. I was keen on American history, too. OK, well, I say we all figure this out today. Who's in? Johnson. Waste an entire P day. Come on. Not waste. Spend the day with the district like the great DL you are. Oh, please. Yeah, I'm getting to know your missionaries better. Yeah, what do you say? All right. All right, so, let's do it. As long as we're done promptly at six and obey all mission rules, all three teams, let's go. Uh, rules first, rule number one, stick together, observe mission rules. Rule number two, if you find a clue, leave it for the others. Rule number three, Mosby and Dixon and the sisters will take their cars and we'll take the bikes. You know the handbook doesn't have this many rules? Rule number four, let's go. Already. What's wrong, Elder? Not fair. They have cars and we have bikes. They cover a bigger area. Well, now they're probably gonna find the treasure sooner. You wanted an adventure. Adventure, yes. Not a blowout. Hey, at least they agreed to drop our laundry out for us. That'll slow them down a little. Right. Lord loves them too, Elder. And the rest of us think he's a jerk. I have to go home and change, so. I don't get why they have to get their jollies out at our expense. Well, our missionary's elder just comes with the job. Doesn't it ever bother you? If I let it, I just don't let it. You now, my grandpa used to say there's good in everybody, you just have to find it. Well, to find anything good in those guys, you probably have to search pretty hard. Well, and that's what we do we search until we find it. What? You do care. You didn't think I did? I had my doubts. I know, I come across strong and puts people off sometimes, I guess. Well, if you just let people see the other side of you, then maybe they wouldn't. I can't be responsible for what other people think. Lighten up. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You've had a lot of success. What's that supposed to mean? Everybody has trials, some more than others. I have trials. Now you have challenges, not trials. Oh, okay. How do you know that? Come on. I've watched you, Mr. Easygoing Optimist. Things just... Things just always fall into place for you. From making friends to getting baptisms. So that's what's bothering you, huh? My, my baptisms. No, what bothers me is that so little discipline and effort will require to achieve those baptisms. So what, you want me to be like you? Elder Gloom and Doom? Welded to a watch and a planner? Yeah, no thanks. You don't understand. You're right. I don't. I'm stumped. It's here. I've just not seen it. Besides the word before being spelled wrong, I don't see anything else. I wonder, why is the word dead capitalized? Ah, oh, the dead arise. The resurrection? That's a doctrine, not a place. I know, but where the rise is. 
You drive, I'll navigate. On the motorway? On the what? The road with the concrete down the center. Oh, the freeway? Yeah. You want me to drive an American car? They're the same as British cars. Except they're built backwards. So just think backwards. I'm sorry. Forget it. No, it was stupid and I had no right to say it. You have the right to say what you believe. But I don't. Believe that, I mean. Well, I got a bad habit of engaging my tongue and not my brain. So, where do we go? I haven't figured it out yet. Well, that's interesting. What? B4, it's spelled like number four and not F-O-R-E. Maybe that's how they spelled it back then. Back then, they didn't write this in 1776. Okay. Well, look, dead's capitalized and, and seven's all spelled out. That doesn't make any sense. No, it does. We're just not getting it. Maybe it's a coordinate. Dead's a coordinate? No, like B4, B4. All right. The cemetery. Where the dead are. Exactly. You, you are good at this. I am? Oh yeah, I, I wouldn't have been able to make that connection. Yeah, you would, eventually. Yeah, maybe in the millennium, but uh, who's President Seven? Got me. Let's go find out. You're getting into this, aren't you? <sighs> Just curious, that's all. Right. <laughs> Hey, maybe that's a coordinate too? Let's ask. You're gonna pray here? Or we could ask the caretaker. Okay. What took you so long? Hit a bumpy, nearly ruined the car. Hit a what? A speed bump. You did fine. You just have to get used to driving on the right side of the road. I seem to drive on both sides. It's good experience. Why is it the one gets experience just after they need it? There's nobody here. We have the answer already. We just don't know it, that's all. I wish I'd said that. Oh, wait, who's the seventh prophet of this dispensation? Uh, Joseph F. Smith, I think. You sure? Pretty sure. OK, there has to be a headstone with that name on it. Now. Smith, you think? That exact name. Are you sure he's a seventh? I don't know. Sing the song. What? The one from primary? Okay. Joseph Smith, Brigham Young, and John Taylor is... Someone singing. Or strangling cats. I think I know that song. That's not how it goes. Joseph F. Smith Okay, it's not Smith. Is Heber, Heber J. Grant. So what are you looking for? A grave. Ah, you're kidding. Here? So, uh, what grave? We got here first. I thought you didn't believe in any of this. I'm just helping my companion. We all deduce the symmetry? Figure it out. Oh, good. Well, deduce the rest. A Heber J. Grant. The seventh president of the church? President Seven. <laughs> Found it. So now what? Another clue. On the headstone? Or somewhere else. Or we have the wrong headstone. No, this was the only one with the name Grant. Maybe we got the clue wrong. 
This is what the clue meant. I'm sure of it. Then what is it? That I'm not so sure of. What's that? Is it the next clue? I knew we'd find it. Yeah, and we would have found it first if you hadn't had to stuff your face. What does it say? Out loud? Hey, we got here first. I think we should have a head start. Absolutely. Haven't you ever heard of ladies first? Yes, I have. Only from women. The passageway you seek is narrow and dark. He who finds it is wise, earnestly seeking where few venture. Wise? It leaves you out. Quite Choose your path with care. Hold to the rod, understanding the promptings, reaching for that which is hidden. Call upon your brother, but hasten, time is short. How very cryptic. Like a high council sacrament meeting talk. There's something on the other side. ST. Thing? What does that have to do with anything? I'm not sure. Hey, n notice how certain words are capitalized? I was just looking at that. Let me see that. I got it. What? Uh, Come on. Hey, you're not gonna share? Wasn't one of the rules. <sighs> So you really figured it out? Mine like a steel trap. <laughs> yeah, rusty and illegal in 17 states. Whew, let's stop for lunch. You hungry again? Uh, still. Fine, but you're paying. Come on. Okay, this one's good. Gotcha. What is he doing? Straightening up? Elder Sarath, the poster boy for Messi? Maybe it's his way of coping. Coping with what? You don't know? Know what? His father died about four months ago. How terrible for him. Could have gone home, but he decided to stay and finish his mission. Why wasn't I told about it? Hardly anybody was. But I'm his mission companion. For one week. Besides, Grace personal. Everybody handles it differently. Yeah, but he's, he's so... Positive, optimistic, upbeat. Well, yeah. Sometimes the best way to hide hurt is to be just the opposite. I think I figured out the next clue. What is it? And we're sure you'll figure it out, too. Good luck, Elder Johnson. Help you with something? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to scare you, I'm the caretaker. Oh, you didn't, just startle me is all. We're just tidying up. Oh, appreciate you sprucing things up. Glad to. I'll take all the help I can get. I'm not as spry as I was. <laughs> you keep it beautiful. Uh, you the same as them other two? Other two? Young fellas your age, dress the same. Used to visit me now and again. Really? Yeah, help me with that flower bed. It's beautiful. Too bad they didn't, didn't see how pretty it turned out. Mind if I ask you fellas for a favor? Sure, what? Help me move some rock slabs. Been trying all morning. Yeah, we'd love to. <clears throat> oh, thank you gentlemen so very much. Oh, glad we could help. Welcome, if you ever need help again, just give us a call. Oh, very okay. much. Very nice to meet you. Likewise. What is it? It's tuna. No, the uh, answer to the last clue. So what do you think of Elder Johnson? That's the answer? No, I'm asking. Oh. Uh, well, he's a really good missionary. Works harder than anyone else in the mission. Yeah, but he hasn't had any baptisms. So? Well, you know. It's just... Well, you think that there must be something wrong because he hasn't had any baptisms? Well, not that exactly. I... What exactly? I don't know. Maybe it's something we're not seeing. I think there's a lot we don't see. 
For instance, I don't think that the Lord measures a missionary by his baptismal totals. Good point. It's harder to find a better missionary than Elder Johnson. Baptisms or no baptisms. I bet it's been hard for him. Maybe. Hasn't stopped him, though. You, uh, you gonna eat the rest of that? So, uh, what did you figure out with the last clue? Oh, well, you gotta look at it different. Different? Different how? Huh? Not the words, letters. Any ideas? One. What? Well, if you take the first letter of each capitalized word, T-H-E-C-H-U-R-C-H, and you get the church. At what church? Well, it can mean the little church down in the valley. Or our chapel. Or our chapel. Or it's a red herring. Is that a church for fish? A red herring is slang for something that deliberately leads you astray. Oh, like infomercials. Right. Right. But you're probably right, and I don't have a better idea, so let's go. Everything's locked. It's my fault. I let Elder Mosby borrow the key Sunday and forgot to get him back. Well, I knew this one guy that could open any door by just jerking the handle. So no lock jerking. They're never going to catch up to us. Oh. Johnson forgot that we have his key. That treasure is ours. Mine. Law of consecration, Elder. Oh, no one got it. Jeez, come on. You're straight and narrow. Uh, your brain? Or your attitude. Uh, or the corridors. Or a hidden passageway? In an LDS chapel. So how'd you get in? I used to be a safe cracker. Mm -hmm. My keys, please. So, did you find any clue? No. You got my message. You wrote the journal? No. I was afraid no one would come when I had to leave a message on your phone. But here you are. Ten rows should do it. Of chairs? For the meeting tonight. Two hundred should be enough. Bless your hearts. That'll take forever. I better get started. Give me a hand, Mosby. All right, ready? Pull! Dark passageway. How do you know that's what he meant? Well, how do you know he didn't? All right, move. You see anything? Dust. Besides that. Oh. What'd you do? I just made myself an inch shorter. Okay, I got it. <laughs> what? That's the clue? No, it's Sister Hiller's medallion, which means they're ahead of us. But they're supposed to leave the clue behind after they find it. That, that's a rule. They did. Let me see. Okay. We still need to set up the chairs. We? Oui. Young to help us? I am so grateful, Elders. The grandbaby was up all night, and I am so far behind. You are the answer to my prayers. We're just glad we could help. Yeah. Thank you. Fine. It's better not take all afternoon. Good man. Bet the sisters are doing better than us. Have you done this before? On a bicycle. I watched my dad do it once. Do you recall what he did? Yeah, I think so. That goes in there. <sighs> so it won't fall? I had to jack it up. And then we can take off the flat and put on the spare. How clever. It's almost as clever as the last clue. 
<laughs> At least we know where it's not. I'm glad you talked me out of climbing into the ostrich cage. What was the scripture reference of the last clue again? Doctrine and Covenants, 89th section. Verses 14 and 19. All grain is ordained for the use of man and of beasts to be the staff of life, not only for man, but for the beasts of the field and fowls of heaven. I'm hungry. You just inhaled a plate of cookies. Chew some gum. And they shall find wisdom and great treasures of knowledge, even hidden treasures. Beasts of the field, fowls of the heaven. The zoo. No, there's no zoo, but there is that bird place with excellent pretzels. cost us more than an hour. It's not my fault. No, I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying I'm gonna blame you for it. The eagles were cool. They were bald. All right, next idea. Okay. Where do you find treasures of wisdom and knowledge? Library? A school? Bread. Just once, can you think of something else besides food? I'm not. It's from the first verse. Grain. The staff of life. A walking stick? Haven't you ever heard of the staff of life? Bread. Exactly. Okay, and you get bread in where? A bank? Not that kind of bread, Nimrod. Grocery store. Or the bakery. That makes more sense in here. Yeah, but which bakery? There's about a zillion of them here. Yes. But only one right bakery. And you're not going to tell us after all we've been through? Now that wouldn't be fair now, would it? No. See you guys. Let them have the car. They're not going to figure anything out. What makes you think he knows which bakery any more than we do? Are you kidding me? When the Food Network has bakery questions, they call Mosby. You got a point there. We got to hurry then. We've tried six bakeries so far, and zilch. They probably got the final clue by now. Or it's not a bakery, it's red herring like the aviary. You're really big into this red herring thing, aren't you? Well, get it, I've got confidence. Confidence is what you have when you don't understand the situation. Ye little faith, Elder. Hello. Problem? It just died on me. You want me to take a look? You want a mechanic? My dad was. Okay. Always happens at the wrong time, huh? Worst time. On my way to a job interview. Now we'll be late. Important? It's muy importante. I really need this job. All right, get in. You fixed it? Um, just try it. Okay. Wait. You sure you know what you're doing? Again. You have little faith. Thank you so much. Glad we could help. I would like to repay you. No need. Do you guys like real Mexican food? Well, who doesn't? 
I will be done with my job interview at four. Is five o'clock okay for you? For dinner? La comida perfecta, si. Sí. We'll be there. We go. What's the address? It's the greenhouse in the corner, yeah. Let me give you my address. Miguel Sanchez. Elder Johnson, Elder Sarah. Great to meet you. I'll see you five then. On the dot. Okay, see you then. Thank you. Why not six? P day ends at six. Weren't you just talking about the spirit of the law earlier today? This is different. I think teaching a discussion is a lot more important than searching for treasure we don't even know exists. You think we're going to teach that discussion? Why not? PD appointments are always bogus addresses. What are you talking about? Every time I ever set an appointment on PD, it always fell through. My trainer, Mosby, he did it all the time. And without fail, no one was ever home or the address was fake. He's different. I can feel it. That's Harper. Well, we still have time for your treasure, so let's go find the bakery. Sisters? You found us. Did you guys stop by the aviary as well? Well, at least you gotta see some flamingos. You dropped us. Thank you. Why didn't you check it before we left? I did. The gauge said a quarter of a tank, and you believed it. Well, unlike you, I have a hard time telling if the gauge is deliberately lying to me. I need food. We all do. Yes, I could murder a plate of chips. Eat. Devour. She's hungry. Elder. What? That bad, huh? Uh, I don't think the people across the street heard. So, how do you know that this is the right bakery? Best bakery in the state. Don't tell me you guys have never heard of this place. Did you find any clues? Nothing. Are you guys good, or do you need anything else? Actually, I could take a coconut crunch. Probably an apple fritter. You know, I think I have something for you. Me? Wait. What's that all about? You guys are Mormon missionaries, right? Yes. And you're their leader. Yes, I am. The other ones used to come in here, too. Missionaries? Recently? Well, not for a couple of years. But they said if missionaries ever came, to give this to their leader. Gotta get back to work. Thanks. Does that have a name on it? No. Ah, uh, clue. What are the odds? But how'd they know? Their game, remember? Oh, yeah. Read it. Psalms 46, 46 forward, 47 back, a dozen in the dark. 46 forward, 47 back. Steps? But from where? Here? The sidewalk. <laughs> I had no idea you could count that high. You can't. It wasn't steps. Verses? Find anything? Nothing yet. I stopped at the fire hydrant. Was it verses? No. Hey, what about just the words? Yeah, maybe. I'll just go from the top. Word shake. Milkshake. And what's the other way? Spear. Spear shake? Spe spearmint shake. Turn off your stomach. Or the bard. Well, who's bard? Not bard. The bard of Stratford on Avon. William Shakespeare. Spot on. But where would we find William Shakespeare? Probably the cemetery. Or the library? Yes. 
Makes you wonder, huh? Yeah, he likes food. No. A girl. It's Bible. Yeah, I guess. I mean, no name, no markings. Going through all that trouble, it's just... It's faith. It's not a lot of faith, if you ask me. I mean, if we had to be curious about that door in the apartment, none of this would be happening. We? I seem to remember you were completely against it. All I'm saying is, it's a really long shot, you know? Little daily miracles, Elder. I know about miracles, obedience maybe. Yeah, so the more obedient, the more small miracles, right? Simple. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you lost? What's your name? I want my mom. What's your mommy's name? Mom. Glad you cleared that up. Hey, uh, watch this. Ah! Blah, 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 blah. You want to see that again? Okay. Bad breath. My name is Elder Sarah. Let's see this. I know who this is. This is Jesus. That's right. I like Jesus. Me too. I'm Elder Johnson. And now we know everybody's name but yours. My name's Emily. That's a pretty name. Do you mind if we hang out while we look for your mom? You want me to bring my mom? We can try. Is she in the bakery? I don't know. What's she look like? Pretty. Oh, well, this could be a snap. Emily! Emily, hey! Where have you been? I couldn't see you, Daddy. I'm too sore. <sighs> Thanks for finding her. Not a problem. Uh, her mom's at home with, uh... My new baby brother! Oh, hey, congratulations. Just popped in to get some donuts and, uh, turned around and this one's gone. Oh, well, they are slippery at this age. Yeah, she's my six-year-old Houdini. <laughs> well, thanks, elders. Wait, you know who we are? Uh, yeah, I know missionaries when I see them. I used to be Mormon. What are you now? Still am, I guess. I just don't go very much. Or at all. Anyway, I, we better get going. Sure. Oh, hey, uh, maybe we could come over sometime. Oh, uh, well, I... Can play games? Sure. Honey, I, I'm sure the missionaries are too busy to play games. Oh, we're never too busy to play games. They tell stories? Sure. About Jesus? Um, well, that's up to your dad. Uh, it's okay, I guess. If you don't mind telling, like, a hundred. Deal. When? Um? Uh, well, okay. Why not, uh, next week sometime? Maybe after my wife is up and around again? We'll give you a call. Don't forget. I promise. Daily miracles. Maybe. What was this about um, bogus PD addresses? Oh, you're rubbing off on me. It's about time. Did you find anything? Everything from plays to collected verse. It's nothing that makes sense for the clue. What is it again? A dozen in the dark. We gotta go. Are you serious? We just got here. We don't wanna be late. You're leaving? Why? It's still P day. Appointment with an investigator. You didn't say anything about that this morning. Yeah, Johnson set that appointment at five. Well, we'll keep at it. Um, here's the rest of the clues. Good luck. Terrific. They took our tires? We walk. Wait, maybe this is a sign that we're supposed to stay and look for the treasure, you know? We're not getting any closer standing here. Okay. Do you know how far it is? I don't think Elder Sarath wanted to go. Well, Johnson's got him on a pretty tight leash. Elder Johnson's a hard worker. There should be more missionaries like him. I don't think the church condones cloning. You know what I mean. Uh, that's it. What? Can't believe I didn't think of it before. Think of what? A dozen in the dark. 
What's a dozen? Donuts? Twelve. And when is it dark? Night. Twelfth night. Is that a special night or something? It's play Einstein. Here it is. What's it say? One side says treasure, the other side says Alma, chapter 10, verse 8. And it came to pass that I obeyed the voice of the angel and returned towards my house. Whose house? Ours? Obeyed the voice of the angel? I know whose house. I get it, all right? Thanks. He probably doesn't even live here. You don't know that. You don't know that he does. Well, he said that he did. Yeah, nobody's ever lied to us before. What is with all that beeping? What, are you counting down to the end of the world? Helps me stay focused. Besides your watch, what else makes you tick? I just want to succeed in my mission, that's all. What makes you think you haven't? We've been through this. The baptism thing, what does that prove? Success. Does it? Really? I think you need to redefine success. Would you want to go home and face everyone after two years and not have any baptisms? Oh, I forgot, you don't have to worry about that. It's not about the numbers. Tell that to the ward members who come up to you and ask, how many people did you baptize in your mission, Elder? Do you really believe they'll think that of you? Let me read you something. Doctrine and Covenants, 18. And if it so be that you should labor all your days, and brings him it be one soul unto me, how great shall be your joy with him in the kingdom of my Father. I don't even have one, remember? Well, what about you? Don't you count? Besides, you, you still have five weeks left. <laughs> I haven't had a baptism in 23 months. What makes you think the next five weeks are gonna be any different? Because you're different now. Am I? Yeah. I can see it. Even if you can. See what? About five months ago, I was serving with Stevens. You remember him, right? We were just having a tough time. It was a tough area. It just, it just seemed that nobody seemed to care about the gospel. And I was pretty bummed, and I wrote my dad a letter. And I asked him, how can I know if I'm a successful missionary? Because it seemed that no matter how hard I tried, people just didn't seem to care. And he wrote back, and he said something I never expected. He said, to just go and be enthusiastic about the work and give it my best. But then when I came home at night, I should look at a picture of Jesus Christ. Now he didn't, he didn't tell me what was gonna happen, he just told me to do it. So we went out and worked. And later that night I came home and looked at that picture of Jesus Christ. It was then that I realized that I was a successful missionary. Because Elder Johnson, when I looked at that picture, I really could feel his love and spirit in me. I knew he was pleased with me. What more success could I have asked for? That was the last letter I ever got from my dad. 
I heard about your dad. I'm sorry. <sighs> Success, Elder. It's written all over you. Must be invisible ink. I think you're really in league with the adversary, aren't you? You're sent here to test me like Job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll admit, I am an agent of darkness. But my duties, they're, they're mostly ceremonial. Come on, screw tape. Who's screw tape? You never heard of the screw tape letters? A famous novel by C.S. Lewis? Is that Jerry Lewis's dad? Never mind. His house. Returned towards my house. Let's do this. Yeah. What if they found the treasure? If there ever really was a treasure. You still think we wasted an entire P day? No, oh, I think we did some good. Hilders! Hilders! I'm glad I found you. I'm sorry I wasn't home. No problem. Guess what? I got the job. Seriously? Yes, that's why I'm so late. They wanted me to fill out all the employment forms right then. Hey, can you guys come over right now or is it too late? No, now's great. What happened to your bicycles? They're on a diet. We'll just lock them up somewhere around here. It's all right. Why? There's nothing to steal. Well, my cousin works in a bag shop. I mean, throw them in the bag. I just have to pick up my wife. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. There's nothing there. And I heard the voice of an angel. Why are we going to hear the voice of an angel? The chapel. So what are we looking for? You'll know it when you see it. Thanks. Helps a lot. Got it. Resides. What kind of clue is that? And there's nothing on the other side? This makes no sense. Let me see all the clues. Street, your treasure resides. I like work games. Sorry about dinner. I was in such a hurry and I forgot to tell my wife. He did. Forget it. Hey, congratulations on the job. I, I was lucky. We needed it so much, no? Hmm. Oh, we have something that is yours. You do? Ours? Yes. Hold on, let me go get it. The other ones like you, they were not able to come back and get it. You were taught about the church? Some things. Why didn't they come back? The last night the elders were here. Miguel thinks that it was his fault and it wasn't. What happened? I did nothing to help them. Because I was afraid. Afraid for your family, Miguel, not for yourself. Vagabundos, they, they beat the elders. The gang cornered me and asked me if I knew them. And I said, I said no. You were trying to help, Miguel. Don't be so hard on yourself. After it was too late, the other who left this book, I will never forget his eyes when he looked at me. We, we started reading 
the book and we prayed the way they asked us to. We did not understand all the words. Our English is not so good, but we understand what we were feeling and it, and it was good. Do you have any questions about what you read? Yes. We would like to know more. Would you teach us? We can do that. doing here I never believe what just happened well how'd you find the treasure you don't even have all the clues what treasure the clues say the treasure resides at 911 Fulton Street we'd all like to hear. Sorry. The elders have been moved out of this area because of some trouble. I wish more than anything I could stay. I only have a week left. And I really thought I'd have a baptism finally. Miguel's a golden contact, but not quite ready. But he will be. If elders are ever sent in again, well, my companion and I thought it'd be fun to leave some clues. Well, don't stop. You know, seek diligently. Who knows, maybe by then he'll be ready. Since you're reading this, you have obviously figured out the clues. Congratulations. He and his family are your treasure. Hopefully your journey has also prepared you to teach them. And I just pray that they still live here. Closer. Smile. Perfect. Thank you, Elder Johnson, for finding us and teaching us. Thanks for being ready, Miguel. Thank you. Thank you guys Thank you. so much. You're welcome. <laughs> we'll see you inside. Congratulations, you guys. This is so awesome. <laughs> Finally here, huh? Quick five weeks. But productive. Yeah. I can't thank you enough. For what? You know? Putting up with you. Believing in me. Even when I didn't. Well, any advice for a new senior cop? You don't need any. Not for me, anyway. I didn't realize this at first. But you have great faith, Elder. That's why you've had so much success. Figure I'll see your face in the inside someday with the rest of the brethren. The general authority. You need psychiatric help. <laughs> Don't forget to use your day planner. Mm -hmm. Guess this is it. I'll miss you. No, you won't. 
this will remind you. Jeez. Isn't it time for a baptism? Not yet. Now it's time. 